I'm Amy Coleman with the Forest Service. I'm an ecologist working out of the Marlington White Sulphur District. So my job um, is based around um, threatened endangered sensitive plants and ecological restoration. Um, so we're out here today at Sharps Knob um, planting red spruce and American chestnut trees. Um, this area was mined in the early 1970s for coal um, in a process called shoot and shove. Um, so they used dynamite to blast off the soil. Um, and then the coal seam was harvested and all that material was pushed over the edge. Um, and then they would plant um, non-native grasses and red pines. Um, so what we've done here is taken a um, D9 dozer and ripped the soil up um, and that's to loosen the soil um, to prepare it for tree planting. Um, and then we have our red spruce plugs and our American chestnut tree. So red spruce used to dominate about um, a half a million acres in West Virginia, um, and it's only about 10% of that now. Um, so we're trying to restore these um, for wildlife. About 300 rare plants and animal species depend on the red spruce ecosystem. Um, including the northern flying squirrel and the cheap mountain salamander. Yeah, it's great to have all these um, volunteers out enjoying their public land, the national forest, um, and this wouldn't be possible without our partners. So we have Green Forest Works here. They do this uh, kind of work throughout the Appalachians, uh, the Office of Surface Mining, uh, the Nature Conservancy donated all the red spruce and the American Chestnut Foundation uh, donated the chestnut that we're planting today. So we're really happy to have all those groups involved in this project. Uh, my name is Chris Barton. I'm a professor of uh, forest hydrology at the University of Kentucky and president of Green Forest Work. This area is actually part of the old mine. Behind me is the actual high wall that was left after the mining occurred. So they dug down here, extracted the coal, and pushed the rock that was here into the valley uh, beside us. Um, the water coming down here is probably from an original ephemeral channel or a stream that flows during wet periods and now it's coming off the high wall and onto this bench and one of the things that we're going to do as part of the project is do some wetland enhancement and creation on this site. I really like this reforestation because it's more of a, a holistic sort of watershed restoration instead of you know a specific plot or a specific you know segment of a stream and really when we start thinking about um, the benefits we get from reforestation, it's huge. Um, not only are we putting back the forest for the habitat and things like that, but we're improving air quality, we're sequestering carbon and helping with uh, climate change. But also by ripping up this land, we're forcing water to infiltrate instead of runoff. So ultimately we're protecting water resources by doing that as well. And, um, you know, it's just a great way of combining a bunch of different initiatives in one big project. And as far as mine lands in Appalachia goes, um, we have over a million acres that have been surface mined that were forest prior to the mining and they've been reclaimed to a grassland or shrubland and are in need of some aid to help get the forest back. So um, we've got a lot of work to do over the next couple of decades.